The Environment Ministers, or representatives, for 11 of the UK's overseas territories and Crown dependencies met at the Island Hall, Alderney, at the end of April, with two others taking part via Skype. As well as the hosts in Alderney, the meeting included Gibraltar, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, Montserrat, Pitcairn, Tristan de Cunha, Jersey, Sark, Guernsey and Isle of Man, with Falkland Islands and St Helena participating remotely. Unfortunately, a technical fault prevented Turks and Caicos Islands also joining in this way. This meeting took place thanks to support from the States of Alderney and its Chief Executive, Mr Victor Brownlees. The UK Overseas Territories Conservation Forum, an NGO, organised the meeting together with local NGO, the Alderney Wildlife Trust. The first Environment Minister's meeting was held in Gibraltar in 2015, convened by Dr John Cortez, Gibraltar Environment Minister. The States of Alderney, as part of UK's island family, wanted to give positive support to the process started in Gibraltar of cooperation and sharing for effective environmental actions. For example, to protect their special environments, to discuss common challenges caused by low population sizes and small economies. Pitcairn in the South Pacific, with no airport and an infrequent shipping connection, has under 50 individuals, but has in Henderson Island a World Heritage Site and a large marine protected area. Discussions included the responsibilities of UK government. Globally, the biodiversity of UCOTS is of even greater importance than that of UK. In terms of endemic species, those which occur nowhere else in the world, of threatened species and of sensitive ecosystems. Issues facing many or all the UK OTs and CDs were discussed, including funding, especially in the context of Brexit. Climate change, which will have a great effect on many overseas territories, and sustainable economies. All these critical points relate to protecting the environments on which economies and quality of life also depend. Participants were able to experience Alderney's unique wildlife and cultural heritage through visits to the Ramsar site, including views of the Gannet colonies and some of the many fortresses on Alderney. The visits were arranged by the Alderney Wildlife Trust. The Environment Ministers agreed to continue their meetings and work with the UK Overseas Territories Conservation Forum Network to share resources and knowledge on the environment. This is hugely important, especially given limited resources. They concluded that the UK OTCF organised conferences of conservation practitioners, most recently in Gibraltar in 2015, are valuable and need to continue as well as other ways in which UCOTs and CDs can work on planning common strategies and targets. Although shortage of resources is a particular challenge, one of the advantages is that the territories are able to react to things much faster than larger jurisdictions.